Welcome back, everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how to create calendar heat maps with CalMap and CalPlot. For more information and documentation, visit the Python package index and search for CalMap and CalPlot. CalMap and CalPlot are similar. CalPlot is a fork of CalMap with the addition of a few arguments. For the imports, we're going to import CalMap, CalPlot, Pandas, the Vega datasets, and matplotlib. For our first example, we have created a pandas series. And for the data, we use numpy to create some random numbers. And then for the index, we use pandas dot date range. And the pandas series will look like this. The data argument for the plot is a pandas series and must be indexed by a date time index. And that will be this argument here. To create our calendar heat map, we use calmap.yearplot. For the data, we use our heat map series that we created here. And here we have our calendar heat map. Let's move on to our next example. So here we have pulled in our data. And here we have converted the date to a date time type. Here we have gone ahead and set the index to the date. And we can see that here. And this is what the data will look like. Then we go ahead and create our panda series using the precipitation. And the series will look like this. Now we can create our calendar heat map. We use plt.figure with the fig size of 16 by 8. Then we use calmap.yearplot. For the data, we use precipitation that we created here. For the year, we're going to use 2017. And then here we have created our title. And here we have our heat map. Next, let's go over an example where we create a heat map for several years. Here we have created our panda series. Then we use calmap dot calendar plot. For the data, we use the panda series here. And then here we set our figure size. And here we get our calendar heat maps for 2017, 18, and 19. Here we have basically the same example. However, in this case, we're using cowplot, and notice that the color bar is added automatically. And here we have one last example. And this example uses resample to put the data in proper form. And then we use cowplot.cowplot. We put in our data. For the color map, we use cool warm. And here we set our title. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.